Thank you for joining me. This is going to be a short seated session using some hand weights today. So we're going to try targeting different areas of the arms and the shoulders, so working into the upper body. If you have some light weights, then do grab those for this class. I'm using half a kilo. You could go a little bit heavier if you want to, or if maybe you've got tins of beans in the cupboard, use those as an alternative, or perhaps you've got some wrist weights that you can just strap on round the wrists and you can use those as well. So let's get started. On your chair, pop the weights down to one side for a moment, and we'll just do a little bit of a warm up first before we incorporate the weights. So shuffle forward on the chair so that you're not leaning back. Feet flat, lengthen up, so really think about lifting off the chair, growing nice and tall. Let your arms rest down by your sides, and let's simply roll the shoulders back to begin with. Just letting them loosen up and warm up a little bit. Just make that movement as big as you can. And then simply roll them forward the other way. Hopefully we're not feeling too stiff or tight to begin with. And let's change this to an arm circle. So we lift the arms up and circle them back and again. So a bigger movement there for the shoulders. Try not to lean back as you lift. So you could make that a lower arm circle if you need to. And let's change direction, going back the other way. Again, not leaning back, stay lengthened up. And let's aim for one more. And then lift both arms out to the side, slightly forward, so you might just see them in the corner of your eyes. Really think of reaching away. Turn the palms up to face the ceiling, and then think of turning them down and maybe twisting back if you can. And again, turning up and down, really getting up into the top of the arms and the shoulders, Rotate as much as you can. We might be feeling a little bit warmer already. So a nice preparation here before we add in the weights. One more time up, one more time down. And just have your palms now facing the floor. We're gonna lift one arm up and over into a side reach and then back to center. Over you go to the other side reaching over but try not to lift off the chair and back to centre and again reaching over, lovely big stretch there for the side. Think about trying to reach over your head and just once more to each side. Then we come back into the centre and those arms can lower, give them a little shrug off if you need to and just let them hang down by your sides. Simply nod the head now looking down towards the floor and we're going to make a nice big circle of the head up and around, coming back down to look at the floor and then reverse, go back the way you came, up and around, looking down and again changing direction each time and just making that a nice big movement there for the neck. And let's go for one more circle in each direction. So looking back down at the floor to finish the last one and then lift the head, look straight ahead. So hopefully we're feeling a bit warmer. We're now gonna grab our weights. So one in each hand, arms down by your sides again. Let's start with our right arm first with a hammer curl. So you're gonna bend the elbow, bring that weight up and down. About eight times, a little squeeze at the top before lowering it back down. So we're working the front of the arms here in those biceps. Stay sitting nice and tall, lengthened up to the ceiling. And 
where we've done about eight on that right side. Let's switch, same on the left, up and down. Really squeezing up, keep the arm tucked in close to the body, not swinging the weight up. A little bit slower maybe on the way down. Good, now when we've done eight on this left side, we're going to do both together. Up and down, eight times. Squeezing up, controlling down. Trying not to lean back. Draw the tummy in for a little bit of support. Last one. So now just bring those weights to rest just on the top of the legs, top of the knees, shoulders down, lengthened up. We're simply going to lift, raising the arms to about shoulder height and then back down to touch the legs. And again, up to shoulder height, rest down. And again, working the top of the arms and the shoulders. Stay lengthened up, not leaning back. If you find that you're leaning, maybe don't lift as high or maybe you need a lighter weight. Good, next time you lift, we're gonna hold it there, open out into a bit of a V shape, come back in and we're gonna crisscross the hands and then open out again. So again, crisscross, open, crisscross, open. Keep going, make sure those shoulders aren't creeping up around your ears, keep them down, just to about a V shape here, not too wide, a little crisscross in the middle. Lengthened up, keep breathing. Good, and just one more crisscross. Open out and let the arms rest down by your sides. Have a little roll of the shoulders if you need to. Right arm again, we're gonna lift now out to the side and down eight times, up and down. Just to about shoulder height, or a little bit lower if you feel that you need to, that's fine. And when we've done eight on the right, you can change for eight on the left, exactly the same. Keep equal weight here on the chair, trying not to lean. we've done those eight, we're going to do both arms together. Up and down, reaching out to the walls, lifting to about shoulder height or lower if you need to. And then resting it down. So now keep the arms close to the body, but turn the weight so they are facing forward. Right arm to start again, just a bicep curl up and down, similar to a hammer curl, but the weight is facing forward. Little squeeze there again at the top. Try not to swing, keep control. And you probably guessed it, once you've done eight on the right, you can do eight on the left, exactly the same. Squeezing that weight up towards the shoulder, keeping the arm tucked in close to the body. And when we've done those eight on the left, we're gonna do eight doubles. So both arms up and down. Give it a little squeeze. Make sure you're staying lengthened up to the ceiling. Try not to slump down. Keep drawing that tummy in for support. Good, and down when you're ready. Let those arms relax and the weights turn in. We're gonna hinge ourselves forward now, so make sure you're not too far back on the chair so you've got room to move here around the hips. So you're gonna hinge the body forward, try not to slump over, but stay lengthened out through the top of your head and stay 
in this position. The arms are just hanging down either side of the legs. We're going to try what's known as a row. So with your right arm, you're going to lift the weight up as if you're picking up heavy shopping bag maybe. You're pulling it up, elbow points back, and then lower it down. Eight times on the right, up and down. So really think of that little squeeze up, working the back of the arm and the shoulder. Try not to twist your body, so keep looking down towards the floor in front of you. When you've done eight on the right, switch for eight on the left. breathing and so when we've done those we're going to do doubles both together pulling up and down really think of squeezing up at the top try not to move your body stay in this hinged position working the arms and when we've done those let's just sit back for a moment a little quick roll of the shoulders we're going to work the back of the arms a little bit more. We're aiming for a tricep extension this time. So we're going to hinge forward again. Hold it here. So now with your right arm, I'm just going to turn so you'll be able to see this movement. With that right arm, think of pulling up again like you just did. Hold it here. And now straighten the arm out behind you. So the weight is going to point up towards the ceiling. And then simply bend the arm, bring it back in to where you started eight times. So you squeeze it back and in. So think of straightening the arm and then bending the arm. Really try and aim that weight up. Working those tricky triceps. When you've done eight on the right, lower the arm down. We're going to do the same on the left. So we pull up, hold it there, and you're going to straighten the arm out behind you, give it a little squeeze, bend the arm in, and again, straighten and bend. Think of really pushing that weight again up behind you towards the ceiling, stay in this hinged position, try not to move. So when we've done these eight, just let that left arm come down for a moment. We're going to do both together if we can. So we pull both arms up, hold it there, straighten both arms out behind you, give it a squeeze up to the ceiling, bend in. And again, straighten out and in eight times, really getting into the back of those arms. And when you've done those, lower the arms, sit back. Well done. Those are a tough one. Give it a little roll. Tuck the arms in alongside the body. Palms, weights facing up towards the ceiling. And if you can, just hook your thumbs over the top and release your fingers. Give them a little wiggle because they've been gripping the weights for quite a few movements now. So just let the shoulders relax, lengthen up. This is known as a dumb waiter. So we're finding rotation from the top of the arm and the shoulder to turn your right hand out and in. Again on the right eight times. So try not to lift out to the side. Keep it tucked in close. It might only be a small movement and that's fine. A little bit of rotation. Try not to move your body, just your arm. We've done eight on the right, you guessed it, eight, eight on the left. So you don't need to grip those weights too tightly. Try and relax the fingers if you can, if you're able to. And when we've done that one on the left, both arms together out making sure it stays close so you're not lifting out to the sides and back in eight times again out in you can feel a sense of opening across the chest here as you rotate out and 
and I may have added one on for luck there, so don't worry if you've done the same. Bring it in, hold those weights, and we're just gonna lift the arms up now. So your weights, arms are just above your shoulders, a little bit lower if you need to, that's fine. Check that those shoulders haven't come up around the ears, give them a little shake down the back. Sitting tall, try not to lean. So we're gonna lift our right arm up, press the weight to the ceiling, and bring it down eight times on the right. Up, down, make sure you're not leaning back, so maybe bring the arm a little bit further forward if you need to. Working into shoulders, and a challenge here to stay lengthened up, draw those tummy muscles in, left side, eight times. When we've done eight on the left, last round of eight, both arms. Try not to lean back, keep the arms slightly forward if you need to. When we've done the last one, let's lower the arms, pop the weights down again to one side, just roll off the wrists for a moment in one direction and the other. Let's give it a quick little shake off, let the arms rest down by your sides and let's just repeat what we did at the very start, rolling those shoulders back, maybe feeling a difference, I'm sure they're feeling a little bit warmer now. And then changing direction, rolling forwards. And then let's lift both arms up and make a nice big circle back. Let's change direction, go the other way. One more time, let the arms rest down. Let's nod the head, make our circles up and around, and then changing direction, up and around. And again, each time reverse your circle, just loosening off around the neck and the upper back because we've done a lot of work there with the weights. Once more, each way. Looking down and then straight ahead. Let's just take a couple of deep breaths. And well done everyone. I hope you have enjoyed this quick little session with the weights. You could go back and repeat all of that again if you want to, um, or maybe add in more or less repetitions if you want to. So thank you very much. Let me know how you found this session. Give it a thumbs up if you can, um, or send me a message if you'd like to. But hopefully see you back soon. Take care. Bye for now.